Okay, so in today's setup guide, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Mac OS on Windows computers. So I'm going to be using a program for this known as Sheep Shaver. <laughs> And I'm going to be going through the whole installation process with you and even show you how to play games through Classic Mac OS on Windows. So check this one out. Okay then, before I start today's Sheep Shaver and setting up classic Apple Mac OS, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. That just means you'll get a little notification pop up every time I release a new retro emulation video and it also helps my channel out a lot. So we're looking at setting up Apple Mac OS today using a Windows computer. So I'm using Windows 11 for this. So what is Sheep Shaver? So Sheep Shaver is a little utility or emulator, if you will, to allow us to set up, say, classic Apple Mac OS using Windows. And it's really, really simple to do. So what we're gonna do is head over to the Sheep Shaver website and we're gonna download this. So if we just scroll down, easiest way to download Sheep Shaver is if we just scroll down, we're gonna head over to the Immaculation Forums and if we go into Sheep Shaver for Windows just here, you're gonna find Sheep Shaver for Windows, and this is the easiest way to download this. So let's just click on that link. Okay then, so we've now got Sheep Shaver. What I'm gonna do is just create a new folder on my desktop. So right click, new folder, and I'm gonna title this new folder Sheep Shaver. Uh, you can call this whatever you like. I'm gonna then drag my Sheep Shaver zip folder inside of there and I'm going to just extract it. So right click and I'm using WinRAR to extract. And there we go. So we've now extracted Sheep Shaver and we can just delete that zip folder which we downloaded. Uh, next thing we're going to need for this is something called New World 86 ROM. This is for megabyte version. So I'm going to just extract this New World 86.ROM. Just drag it onto the desktop. And we need to name this ROM file exactly how I'm gonna do it. So show more options, obviously right click on the file. Uh, we're gonna go to rename, and we need to actually delete everything. And we're gonna title this capital M, lowercase a, c. So we got Mac, capital OS, space, and then ROM. If you change your file name extension, the file might become unusable. Yes, we want to change it. Cool. So once that's been renamed, we're going to drag it into the Sheep Shaver folder. And I'm also going to suggest dragging in your Apple Mac OS into this. So, of course, I'm using the last version of Mac OS before it went on to OS X, which is 9.0.4. I'm going to just drag that into the Sheep Shaver folder. And I've also got a classic Mac game, which is Star Wars Dark Forces. I'm going to drag that inside as well. Okay, so first thing we need to do then is open up Sheep Shaver GUI, Graphical User Interface. And here we go. So pretty overwhelming on the first time I looked at this, but it's actually pretty simple to use. So first thing we need to do is actually man our Mac OS image. So I'm going to go to Add. And then from here, I'm going to just navigate into my Sheep Shaver folder and we can use the panel on the left just here in order to do that. So here's my Apple Mac OS 9.0.4 ISO image. If I just left click on this and then go to OK. Next thing we're going to do is just go to create. And this is where we can set up a say, virtual hard disk to install Mac to. So what I'm going to do is just change the size of this just here from 40 megabyte to 2000 megabyte which is of course two gigabyte and that's the max apparently to use so we don't really need much more than this and i'm also going to give this a name and we need to do this to make this to work so you can call it whatever you like i'm going to call this just jamie and go to okay cool and as we can see now in this panel here we've got the apple mac image which is mounted and we've also got my virtual hard disk set up to use once we're inside of Sheep Shaver. So 
what we're going to do next is just go to the graphics and sound tab and just here under video type we can either boot this up in full screen or window mode i'm going to just leave this selected as window mode uh, under windows refresh rate depending on the screen you're using i'm going to set this at 60 hertz uh, the width of this i'm going to set to maximum and the height of the screen display i want is going to be maximum and under render software if we drop this down um this is a mixed bag really it, depending on the computer you've got i'm going to personally use opengl on this i'm also going to check vertical sync and then next thing i'm going to do is just go over the keyboard and mouse and under use raw key codes i'm going to check this and use raw key codes if i just go to browse uh, from here again in my sheep shaver folder i'm going to use the second option down within my sheep shaver folder just here and just select this one okay we're next going to go to memory so we want to make this as fast as possible so by default mac os ram size is on 16 megabyte this is if i drop this down i'm going to just set this to over a gig so 1024 and finally if we just go back to the volumes tab we can actually enable my computer icon on your mac desktop so what this is going to do is whilst we're in mac os it's going to allow us to navigate through our system folders on windows so i'm going to enable my computer and this is it so next i'm just going to press start Here we go so we're in so we're just going to wait for mac os to boot up for the first time now of course sheep shaver it will allow different versions of mac os and as we know i'm using the last version of mac os before osx came out if you want to emulate mac os x this isn't going to let you but rather focus more on the classic mac os macintosh era so what we're going to do then is this this is unreadable by this computer if you want to initialize disk i'm going to give this a name and i'm going to just call it just jamie again you title this whatever you want and under format as we know just a minute ago within the sheep shaver gui i typed in 2000 megabyte which is say two gigabyte and this is the virtual hard disk that is found because we mounted this into the sheep shaver gui so next i'm going to go to initialize left click initializing will raise all information on the disk we want to continue cool so as we can see just here on the desktop if we go to this pc i've got this because in the sheep shaver gui i allowed it to share my computer contents so if we go into my c drive this is going to be everything on Windows 11 and of course this can be very useful to use if we've got Mac games or any other Mac application and whilst we're using this Mac OS operating system it's very easy access. So the options there if you want that. Uh, so what we're going to do next is actually install Mac OS 9. So we're going to go to Mac OS 9 install, double left click. And it's it, so we're on the install Mac OS 9, and we're gonna to go to continue. And destination disk is gonna be just Jamie. And as we can see just here, available disk space, just under 2000 megabyte, that's fine. And we're gonna to go to select, continue, continue. And we're gonna to agree to license. And we're gonna press start on install Mac OS on that just Jamie virtual hard disk that I've created. Now this can take a few minutes, but it'll get there. And this is it. So we've now installed Mac OS onto that virtual disk we created. If we just go to quit and we've got everything set up just here. So what I'm gonna do next is just close out of this and to close down that Mac OS, if I just go up to special, I'm gonna to go to shut down okie dokes so we now need to remove that mac os image if i go back into the sheep shaver gui what i'm going to do just here is just left click highlight in that apple mac os iso and just remove this and what i'm actually going to do this time is add my star wars game so i'm going to go to add and if i scroll down i'm going to find the star wars dark forces iso image if i left click okay and we're going to start
so here we go we've now installed mac os as we can see everything's nicely installed onto that virtual hard disk and we've also got on the right hand side here uh, the star wars dark forces game which i've mounted into sheep shaver gui and we can go on to play the game from here or even install the game uh, but the purpose of this video is to actually set up uh, classic Mac OS on Windows, which I've done. So this totally takes me back to my college years, still with media studies, it's GCSEs. So obviously, right clicker on your mouse isn't going to work. So to make this happen, if you press Control, left control on your keyboard, and then click, you can then get those options up. Uh, so let's go to change desktop backgrounds. Uh, so from here we can obviously change the patterns of the desktop so very basic stuff but you know at the time this operating system wasn't actually that bad i'm more of a windows person to be fair but i've got a bit of a passion for retro stuff like this uh, we can also change the theme so lots of customization in here and of course once we've set this up we can actually close it down and it will save just like a real operating system would I'm going to keep mono blue on. Next up, if we go over to fonts, and we can actually change system fonts here. So what I'm going to do is set this to a different font. And as we can see, as I change these, the fonts are actually changing, which is pretty cool. And view fonts, let's put this on to Arial Black. And if we go over to sound, soundtrack, let's put platinum sounds on and check all of these. And at the top, of course, we've got that classic Mac OS little panel just there where we've got many different options. Uh, special is where you can shut Mac OS down or restart it or put it to sleep. If we go to view, as buttons. As you can see, the shortcuts here, they've actually changed the style. So they're in that buttons. We can clean up the desktop. And if we go into my hard disk, which I titled just Jamie, we can then get inside different folders. So for example, if we go into system folder just here, we can then take a look at different things we got in Mac OS. So we can use the appearance uh, folder or drawer just here. Uh, we've got sound sets, theme files. Uh, so lots to explore here if you're new to classic Mac OS. So what I'm gonna do finally is show you how to update Mac OS. So what we're gonna do is just go to special and shut this down. And if I go back in the Sheep Shaver, and I'm gonna open up the GUI again, I'm gonna just unmount my Star Wars game for now, and just remove that. And of course, we can put multiple ISO or images here mounted, but just for simplicity, I'm doing one at a time. So what I'm gonna do is add my Apple Mac OS ISO again, okay. And I'm gonna start it up again. So now that we've got the ISO of Mac OS mounted again, we're just gonna to go to Mac OS update install. Just make sure everything is installed. And this is literally the latest release or latest update of this particular Mac operating system. So I'm gonna choose the destination disk as just Jamie, select and continue and agree. And I'm gonna leave this as recommended installation and go to start and continue and as we can see it's now installing the update so from here we can then go to restart and that's it and whilst we've got the mac os 9 image inserted if we actually go to cd extras just here we can find a host of different programs to actually install from that extras image. And we also got utilities just here. So lots of different bits and pieces you can add and install using that Mac OS image. And finally, it's not just ISO images we can use through this system. If we just go to special and shut down. So in addition to Sheep Shaver, just set and dot ISOs, we can also use .dmg images. So if I just pop a .dmg game into my Sheep Shaper folder, and what I'm gonna do is just open up GUI again. 
and I'm going to remove the Mac OS image, the ISO image, because of course we've now installed with updates Mac OS 9.0.4. So I'm going to just remove this and I'm going to add my .dmg game. So add, and here's my game, Jazz Jack Rabbit. Okay. And that's all there is to it. So we can now go to start. As we can see, we've now got Jazz Jack Rabbit 2. So if we just go into this, just like we did with Star Wars Dark Forces. And here we go. So Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 ready to play. A very old school game, Jack Rabbit 2. I was actually talking to my son the other day and I mentioned a shop um, known as Beatis. Uh, some of you out there probably in the UK at least will remember Beatis, a model shop. Uh, but when Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 came out, Beatis specifically advertised it big time. I was actually going out with someone at the time that actually worked in Beatis, and she wore a Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 t shirt um, given to her by Beatis. A uh, bit of history there from just Jamie. And let me remind you if you should delete anything in Mac OS, obviously it's going to end up in your trash can. Uh, once you've got files in your trash can, it's just a case of going up the special and then just empty trash. Of course, got nothing in there right now, but this is how you do it. Now, in terms of connecting this to the internet, we got several different routes down here, but this is gonna require a completely different setup guide altogether. Uh, this is a very old operating system, which still uses America Online or AOL. Uh, but if this video proves to be popular enough, I'll investigate that and I'll actually do a setup guide to using uh, the internet through classic Mac OS. And that's it for today's Sheep Shaver and setting up Mac OS on Windows computers. So, like I said at the start of the video, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation setup guides just like this one I've done today. Also, feel free to check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. And also, just to mention, I have got a merch store open now and that's going to be just below my video. You can check out t-shirts, mugs, everything else just there so anyways thanks for watching and until next time stay retro